Okay, so in today's video, we have a 1979, 1980, um, it says 80 horsepower on it, but it's, it's actually an 850. It has a no distributor, 80i ignition. So what we're gonna do is uh, do the timing. Um, I gotta do find the uh, top dead center to make sure the timing is correct. And then after that, I'm gonna adjust the carb clusters to make sure everything's synced. So we wanna get this engine the carbs and uh, the fuel like everything linked in sync so that's the purpose of this video so the first thing i'm going to do is do the uh, on the top dead center adjust the timing pointer um, i'll put a link in the description below on how to find that and then we're going to start timing it Looking for top dead center, and I'm looking at this label. Very difficult to read. I think the zero is right there out of the line, which I put another flywheel, which is way easier to read, which the zero is right there after the line. So that is gonna be our top dead center right there. So we got zero, two, four, eight, ten. Zero, two, four, eight, ten. Okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna line up the timing pointer on this scratched out zero right there and that's going to be the uh, top dead center all right so the next step is to get this carb cluster you want this right here just barely touching the cam right here so you do that just by loosening this screw here that should move should as a keyword <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do this holding the camera with one hand. Okay. Alright, so that. See if I can zoom in. That is barely touching, so I'm going to tighten that down. Hard to watch the film and watch this at the same time. Okay. All right, so that's tight, snug, and that's just barely touching. All the shrouds back on, and uh, we're gonna start timing this thing. The, uh, the idle needs to be set uh, anywhere from three to zero for spec, and then we're gonna set uh, the timing calls to 27. But given the uh, ADI ignition system, we set it to 29, that equals 27. So what we're actually going to do is set it to 28, that way the max spark hits 26. Because you want to trim down the max spark just a little bit because today's fuel is crap. So I got everything hooked up. Timing light. I got the shroud over it just because it's bright out here. So I need to be able to read this. See if I can hit uh, at idle. Uh, anywhere from three to zero before top dead center. <clears throat> All right, so we're setting the idle from zero to three degrees. Power's on, lights on. Right. Of course, if you look at the readings there, very 
very difficult to read. I was hitting right before top dead center. So we just need about maybe two, maybe three degrees before top dead center. <coughs> Which I think we actually have it on the first setting. But I'm going to verify it because that's what I do. screw all I did was tighten this down to the, to the idle stop so now we have to set the max what I have set up here this is a max spark stop I just have a bungee cord attached all the way around and then basically we're trying to hit 28 which would hit uh, 28 cranking which will hit 26 if it's actually at the uh, 55 rpm so we do that next Okay, so 28, that's what we're aiming for. Okay, we just past the, uh, just past 27, probably closer to 30. I just need to pull it back just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to loosen this 11 metric screw here. I'm going to actually screw this in just to push the timing forward. And I'm going to lock it right there. And that should put us at 28. Okay, so 28. Here we come. the timing is set on the engine all right so everything's been uh, timed uh, length and sync the primer ball is full the water is running moment of truth let's see what happens